and they were having a hell time. Strip the land of watch. They look good. Yeah. Uh, we had a bit of a visitor last night. We're not sure if it's still on the boat. We're hoping it's not still on the boat, but something came on and ate our bananas. Hollow Trees, or locally known as HT's or Lance's Right, is one of the best fast barreling right handers in the world, located in the Mentawai Islands, Sumatra. There wasn't much swell this day, but we still had a magic time, anchoring right next to the break and surfing several times throughout the day. Strip the land of watch me, then turn a blind eye. This was the most crowded wave we had surfed in a while, but the kids enjoyed surfing with some of the other kids and they were having a hell time. giving a wet shirt that they'd outgrown to this little grom and he was stoked. Here little mate, here's a hat too, all the way from the land down under. We 
We bought some bananas and papaya, enough to live off for about a week. Or maybe we'll have to freeze some. down here Sarah's got a few notes going on I like a bit of a teacher I'm going learning little... how to make videos no way mate she's she's got it all going on Bye. I know I think you got a naughty student there Jay boy so I, lost... oh, I tell you what she's a little bit naughty she's a little bit naughty I um... lost footage again and I wanted Jay to find it for me but instead he's helping me because I, you know, I lose it because I'm unorganised and I have no idea. She's, no she's just switched editing programs, so she's gone from one program to another. So she's just not sure where everything lives, and I'm just helping show her where things live. Not very pretty straightforward. And she's she's picking it up real quick. She's got a little book. It's like being back at school again. It's pretty cute, actually. Oh. I think Bella is really, really enjoying it because it's usually her getting heckled about doing a bit of schoolwork, and now Mum's now Mum's got the uh, the school book out. <laughs> I love it, I forgot what I was doing now. Oh, I know there's a bit of this going on over here. Oh, Whittakers. So, we're just leaving HT's. Gonna go and pull up for the night. We may be back tomorrow, but we might not be. Lee actually ran over one of the Indo kids. We didn't run him over. He was claiming he did, and he started swearing at him and carrying on. Pretending he was shooting bow and arrows and, and then things, so we'll see how Lee feels about coming back tomorrow. So we're going about five nautical miles away. How far is it? Two. Two nautical miles to Anchorage we can have spend the night. The next day we made the decision to keep moving north and headed to another wave not too far away. Just for a surf, as you can see, this anchorage is a bit on the rolly side. After weeks out on the islands, it was time to find a town. So we anchored up near Tua Pajet in the central Mantau Island, 100 kilometres off the west coast of West Sumatra. This time of year, it's pretty quiet here and there was no waves as the swell had dropped off. So we went for a bit of a wander. And I don't know what it is about these little guys, but I just love hermit crabs.
getting hungry? No worries, Captain Lily gets us a coconut for lunch. It was a long walk back, you know, with all the hermit crab and coconut stops. Coconuts are the perfect trees. Hungry, you can eat them. Thirsty, you can drink them. Then it was time for some crew lashings. Not sure what it was he did, but his punishment was two or three lashings, by the look of it. More crabs and more coconuts. What a dream spot. A dinghy ride away was the town to a Paget and we zoomed over hoping for some fresh food and maybe dinner. It was a cute, quiet town. We found our favorite garang which is these fried veggie things that are delicious and you can find them everywhere in Indonesia. There was a shop like a mini mart, so we got some ice cream and some essentials. We like this little town and even more so when we found avocados and some other fruit and veggies. We loaded our bags and got takeaway food for dinner and headed back to Catalpa. While we were here, we had internet reception, so Jay could book his flights. And we worked out that we had to do a visa run to Penang. So this morning, we burned our rubbish and had our last swim here in paradise. We're about to leave and go to Penang. Um, we've had the most amazing time in the Mentawais, surfing every day. Just so, so stoked on life, but um, we've got to go into town, renew our visas, drop off our crew member and then we'll come back out to the Mentawais and head up to Thailand. How's this cutie? Think he wants to come and live aboard with us on Catalpa? just 
just leaving the anchorage where we've been for the last two nights. Uh, we had a bit of a visitor last night. We're not sure if it's still on the boat. We're hoping it's not still on the boat, but something came on and ate our bananas. Hoping it's not a rat. Oh my God, I hope it's not a rat. Um, but yeah, we're pulling anchor and we're heading off to Padang, which is about 70 nautic miles. It's about four or five o'clock in the afternoon, so we should be there tomorrow sometime. Yeah. It wasn't a rat after all. It turns out it was bats. So we're pretty safe to say they're not still aboard Catalpa. Let's hope. So I gotta go to town. We've gotta to, uh, get our visas renewed one more time before we leave Indonesia. And we gotta drop off. We gotta drop off somebody. We gotta drop off that guy. These videos are made possible by our patrons. Thank you all so very much. Up next. That was your last night, Tassid. Oh, I'm still asleep. Oh. Turn it down. What's up? Turn it down. It's smoking. No idea. We're probably about an hour or so out of Padang. And um, yeah, it's a bit of a tough one, this. Otherwise, we're sailing to Thailand with our rip sails. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching guys. If you like that video, please give us a thumbs up and share with your friends. And if you haven't already subscribed, click the subscribe button. Cheers guys, we'll see you next time. See you next time, bye.